One of the things that I have always admired about you is your willingness to take risks. And, and you've taken some big ones in films that are so far off the beaten path uh, that, that you obviously didn't want to follow. And we're going to see two <laughs> excerpts now that, that, uh, that illustrate this. The first is Lars von Trier's Dogville. Uh, an allegory that uh, I think mm -hmm. turned out awfully well. Not everybody, was not everybody's cup of tea, but uh, it was mine and obviously yours. Well, yes. And then uh, we're going to follow that with, um, with the other one, <laughs> with, with Birth, another really, really intriguing film uh, that if people haven't seen, you should, you should give this a try. What, what, what are the first memories that, 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 that come to mind when I mention those titles? Um, <laughs> so, yeah, that's my seeking out um, auteurs, my seeking of really, um, I suppose, philosophical material. A lot of times I'm interested, and I even just watching um, The Hours and David Hare's work, they still resonate. They're so beautiful. The writing is so profound and true about humanity. And I think that's probably my quest always with art is that constantly finding the voices that need the support in this industry and traveling all over the world to do it. So thus I went and worked with Von Trier on a very at a very controversial time for him. Um, and people thought it was the most radical, crazy idea. And what was I doing? Um, heading off into, we shot that in Trollhut in Sweden. And we all lived in, in a small sort of hostel. Um, and it was snowing. And it was really difficult and really glorious at the same time. And really strange. <laughs> Right up my alley, and then um, and then at the same time, the choice to do both was based on having seen Sexy Beast and Jonathan Glazier. I thought was just a master, and to be able to just be even considered for a role in one of his his I suppose dissertations about life, I was really interested in, and um, and I sort of begged for the role, so. You know, I've had an, I when I look back at my journey, and hopefully the journey is still continuing. Um, I really want it to be with these really strange tangents, but they're still kind of all um, there's there's a there is a method to the madness in the sense of the people that I'm choosing to support, and I think all of the great filmmakers. Um, who have chosen me to be in their films because as an actor it very much is about being chosen. You've got to be like plucked and Stephen Daldry did and Baz did and Jane Campion did and Stanley Kubrick did. Um, but it's their choice to put me in their film. As an actor we don't make the choice unless we're in very, very rarefied air. And I think I'm just very grateful to have been given the opportunity to always be brought into their worlds and their orbits. And I'm still seeking it out. Um I'm yes, all sort of, as I say, an actor for hire who will travel anywhere at any time as long as I believe in what I'm doing and there's a reason for it, if, if I can feel it in my heart. Well, you continually reinvent and rejuvenate yourself <laughs> on that, that journey. So let's look at these oh, two fine. very offbeat, but I think really exceptional yeah. films. <laughs> 